Barviz says, do we have to be in shoes or sandals below the ankle or barefoot when making tawaf or sa'i for umrah? What are the do's and don'ts of ihram? Well, the do's and don'ts of ihram are long. So I, would, I don't have time to explain to you that first of all, the Prophet said for a man that you should not wear while in the state of Ihram any shirts, trousers, turbans, um, baranis, hoodies, or shoes. So a shoe that covers your entire foot is prohibited to be worn during Ihram for men. And if you wear sandals or flip-flops, slippers, this is totally permissible. The dispute is if you wear something that covers the entire foot with the exception of your heel and ankles. Like, I think they call it Crocs, something like that, I don't know. So what's the ruling on that? It's an issue of dispute. The most authentic opinion is, as long as you are unable to wipe in wudu, because it exposes the back of your foot, your heel, your ankles, in this case, it is permissible to wear them, and Allah Azza wa knows best. Among the things that are prohibited in ihram is to wear perfumes. Also, some people, some scholars included clipping the nail. It is not permissible to shave or to cut short the hair of your body, whether it's the hair of the head, the beard, and pubic hair or the armpit hair, etc. It is not permissible to get engaged, get married, propose, is not permissible to hunt game, among other things, and Allah Azza wa Jal uh, knows best.